Hi, it's Rob from Walden Homes and today I'm over at our Heath Street project to talk a little bit about the conversion process from an old wood burning fireplace into a new gas burning fireplace. As you can see on this house, they have the old wood burning firebox here. Uh, it's been reclad with uh, with a nice new marble uh, sill on the, on the, or around the mantel, uh, which dresses up the face of it. But inside, you can see that there's the old fire brick, and you can see quite a bit of uh, of, of ash and and, and, and uh, signs of, of use from the wood burning uh, many years ago. Uh, as you can also see, that there's two aluminum ductwork. One would be the intake, and one would be the output, as well as a gas line that uh, that feeds the. Uh, the, the, the fireplace unit that was actually installed here previous to our current renovation so they they will be reusing the fireplace we've just taken it out uh, during the construction process as you can see everything's under work here but basically the key points to realize are that um, everything in a fireplace especially when it's a wood burning fireplace uh, needs to be non-combustible material so what they do is they have all the special fire brick that runs around uh, on all four or all three sides as well as the bottom and they have the the damper up top uh, to allow all the, the, the fumes to escape. When we do a gas fireplace conversion, however, we actually have to put a special uh, aluminum liner right up the chimney, and that's what these two aluminum ductworks actually run up inside. So it's not just the bare brick like it would have been in an old gas fireplace. There's a, a special liner that runs up. That's the first thing to point out. The other thing to point out is that because this is all non-combustible material inside, to meet code, we actually have to make non-combustible material on the outside. So what that's going to require is, as right now, we just have the uh, the floor joist running perpendicular to the fireplace and we've got our three quarter inch plywood uh, running continuous across. To make this uh, meet code, what we actually have to do is we have to cut back the plywood on either side uh, to, to max or a minimum of 16 inches from the nearest point of, of combustion. So about 16 inches that way and 16 inches that way, as well as 16 inches out in front. Remove the plywood and then uh, on top of the joist, we have to lay a, a layer of, of special uh, galvanized sheet metal, which will lay right across the joist, which is again, non-combustible material. And then on top of the sheet metal, we actually place um, half an inch cement board, which again, non-combustible. And that adds a proper barrier of the heat and everything in the fireplace from, from turning anything uh, outside the, the, the fireplace into firewood. So the key thing here is that we have to basically make everything out front of the gas fireplace non-combustible. The reason being, not so much because the gas fireplace itself could set this all on fire, because really those gas fireplaces don't actually put out as much heat outward as a, as a wood-burning fireplace does. The concern is that if somebody, uh, if the house, if the homeowner decided at a later date to remove the gas fireplace and turn this back into a wood-burning fireplace, or if they sold the house and the future owners decide to do so, if they wanted to use this as a wood-burning fireplace, Again, this front area would need to would need to meet code, so they would have to be all non-combustible. That's the primary concern. We can't just assume that it will always be a gas fireplace, and that's why you know we're okay to have any combustible material out here. So, the key points to consider when you're doing a gas fireplace conversion from a wood burning for, sorry wood burning fireplace is to make sure that you have a proper uh, flue that runs up inside uh, the chimney that has the special liner which will allow the, the fumes to escape. Uh, you also need to get a proper intake so that the, the fireplace has fresh air to draw from. The gas line obviously will get connected by a licensed gas fitter. And then again, most of all is that we have to make sure that the area surrounding the, the fireplace is all non-combustible material so that there's no fire hazards, whether it's a gas fireplace or a wood burning fireplace. So that's just a, a quick little overview of what's involved in uh, the work around fireplaces in, in uh, renovations.